Speaking of fanboys, chat. <laughs> Speaking of fanboys. Fanboys with tomboys. The honest truth. You are being lied to. What? Throughout history, we've seen countless pivotal moments that have shaped the world we live in today. However, nobody mm -hmm. told you the truth behind their genuine motivations. Let me give you an example. Remember when Christopher Columbus set sail yeah. across the Atlantic? Yes. Sure, yes. the history books say it was to find a new trade route, but what if I told you he was actually on a quest to find his very own American fanboy? I believe it. I believe it. If not to conquer the fanboys, then where and what are we living for? Kids, should give you a shout. It looks like you made it out the hood. Well, I don't know if much out the hood if I'm just being, you know. Okay. On the topic. We're watching a video. It doesn't stop there. Sorry. The French Revolution wasn't just about liberty and equality. It was also about finding out whether Louis the Fourteenth was a poll? secretly yeah, a fanboy in disguise. The Austrian painter wasn't rejected from our school. He failed. Hold, hold on. Hold on! Hold on! To make the cut at Tomboy University. <gasps> Oppenheimer didn't build the atomic bomb to help win the war. He built it to impress his big titty Tomboy GF. Even the Cold War had a hidden agenda. It wasn't just about superpower rivalry. It was a fierce battle over whether American fanboys could beat the Soviet Tomboys. And Neil Armstrong... Oh wasn't just the first man in space he was the first fanboy in space behind every I historical discovery it! political debate or war always lie a singular hidden question who's better fanboys or tomboys what the fuck, man? First, let's get on the same page. When I say a fanboy, I mean a person who is a biological male and presents himself as very feminine. That could be by wearing tie-high socks, drinking Monster three times a day, wearing makeup, and having the inner desire to be dominated by masculine men. Think of characters like Astolfo, Felix, Venti, and Link. I love Felix and when so I much, say though. Tomboy, I mean Bro, I love Felix so much, though. It's like Astolfo, Felix... I love Felix so much though, bro. Felix is so fucking adorable. I just wanna like head pet Felix and like rub the ears he said, oh my god, I love him. He's so adorable. He is so adorable. Venti and Link. And I I don't get I don't I don't agree with the Link fanboy notion. Sorry, just had to check my gamma subs there for a second. <laughs> and the reason why I don't agree with the fanboy Link notion is because Link has been made to look um, the way so females and males could identify with the character itself. Has, as the creator said, the creator said Link has intentionally been made with a physique that could be interpreted both as male and female. And no, that doesn't mean Link is gender fluid either. Jink? Link is just a man. Moving I on. I say tomboy, I mean a girl that lands in the middle of being cool and cute at the same time. Which means her personality, looks, and interests hmm, are Seems like you guys prefer tomboys. Balanced. Consider characters Please, like Mikasa, yeah, 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 yeah. or Tom Mikasa! Perfectly balanced. Consider characters like Mikasa, Mikasa, Ryuko, or Tomo. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's address the elephant in the room. Is a straight man dating a fanboy considered gay? <laughs> I had that. And it's not gay. And let me tell you what, why. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Because the man is straight, so anything the man loves is automatically straight too. <laughs> Simple as. <laughs> is it gay if a woman likes the fanboy? Now that's a different question. But in a straight way, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Complicated. 
Dr. Lando says it's not fully gay, but definitely not straight. The world is not black and white. Human minds work in shades of grey. Or how I like to call it, shades of gay. Meanwhile, Dante <laughs> said that fanboys are not gay. You're attracted to anything that looks like it can be impregnated. That's why sometimes, if you're like driving down the, ho there the it is. highway- See, there it is, there it is. And you see very curvy rock formations, <laughs> you might get an erection just looking at the rocks. Therefore, seeing anything that even resembles curves <laughs> and impregnatability may can turn you on as a dude, right? So that's why liking fanboys is like chill. I personally, Agree with Dante's 100%. <laughs> you don't date fanboys because they're dudes, but because of all the benefits they bring to the table. So don't worry, you won't be the one sucking dick. Unless you want to. Be happy! <laughs> Why not date girls instead and avoid all the homosexual allegations? Because girls are stupid. Because girls are mad! Do you know how men and women generally don't understand each other? We constantly argue, disagree, and fight. Men in marriages are unhappy, and modern dating is a shithole! However, when it comes to fanboys, those problems immediately disappear. <sighs> Either way, we're back from the ads. Um, let's go back 10 seconds. Men in marriages are unhappy, and modern dating is a shithole! True. However, when it comes to fanboys, those problems immediately disappear, since men tend to be a lot better at communicating with each other. And as I mentioned earlier... <laughs> no! Did you all see the clip? Oh my god! Y'all gotta look at the screen, y'all gotta look at the screen there for a second. Since men tend to be a lot better at communicating with each other. <laughs> that would be as all. I mentioned earlier, fanboys are men. Do you understand what it means to get killed? There's nothing manlier than liking a man. <laughs> There's nothing manlier. It in the balls. After all, it's a homie that you can rail, and there is absolutely nothing that can beat that. Right? WRONG! Everything that I've said about women not being compatible doesn't apply to tomboys either, for different oh. reasons. They may still be women, however, their coolness overrides their usual annoying female traits. Which cat are you holding in the YouTube community post? Holding? Oh, 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 you mean the picture I uploaded? That's, that's Sherlock. They could be interested in more masculine hobbies such as sports, cars, and martial arts, which immediately gives both of you so much more in common. Therefore, because of my love. making men and tomboys as compatible as men and femboys. <laughs> now what happens if a tomboy is dating a femboy? What happens? A black hole? <laughs> Mind blown. She's topping him. World peace. Ultimate god tier. <laughs> True Nirvana. Well, if both tomboys and fanboys are insanely compatible, th th why not just date a tomboy and avoid all the homosexual allegations? The relationships you form with a fanboy or a tomboy are very different. You and a tomboy are in an infinite loop of masculine energy. You constantly mm -hmm. challenge one another to exceed your limits, whether that sure. be by training in the gym, doing- Well then, a tomboy and a fanboy are just the perfect match. Solution, become a fanboy, date the tomboy. Martial arts, or whatever your hobbies are. So if you're more of the feisty type, tomboys are for you. Meanwhile, fanboys are usually more tame. You know, they're the ones that want to match profile pictures and play Omori while listening to horrible oh, hyperpop with you. So oh my god. More of the introverted type, fanboys. I are know what you are. On the other hand, tomboys tend to be a lot more convenient. Let's take traveling, for example. You're at an airport three hours before your flight. If you're with a tomboy, you can just place down some bags and just mm -hmm. fall asleep on the benches. There won't yeah. be any complaining. No, it's yeah. uncomfortable. No, I'm hungry. No, I want to explore the shops. Because tomboys are just that hard. 
However, when you travel with a fanboy, you'll almost certainly encounter these complaints. They'll need makeup, expensive clothes, blam, skincare. Blam. <laughs> and since they're feminine, they probably won't be able to shut the fuck up. However, oh my they're God. a lot better at emotional support. They'll nurture and take care of you when times get hard. ASMR roleplay as Tofu patches you up. Are you for fucking real? Are you for fucking real? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm looking this up. How many views does this have? Chat, are you fucking cooked? ASMR role. Wait a moment. Think of no one tap. Okay. Roleplay as Tofu patches you up. Up. Okay, it doesn't have that many views. It doesn't have that many views. We're, we're Gucci. We're Gucci. It only has seven, uh, uh, twenty-seven k views. I, I was expecting like almost a million. Holy shit! Where is uh, you got? You you guys want this? You guys want this? You want this? You want this? Here. Here you go. Here you go. In fact, they might even show you that as a man, you can still take proper care of yourself. You can have a skincare routine that doesn't involve washing your face with ball sack water. You oh. can wear something <laughs> other than a hoodie and skinny jeans. You can subscribe and help me get to 30,000 subscribers, please. Thank you so much. Oh, how many does he have now? 160k! Well, he smashed pa way past that. Furthermore, fanboys can peg you without additional equipment and can get pregnant. Meanwhile, tomboys can also be immune to impregnation too, but only um. if they tolerate the second home. Yeah, like. <laughs> fanboys, on the other hand, have no choice. There's also a high probability <laughs> that a tomboy's father will want to beat the shit out of you. Assuming you're an average gaffer viewer. Is that the Claude Noah music? Am I hearing Claude Noah music? Wait, is it something else? Is this Claude Noah music? Which means you're a loser. You'll be fine with a fanboy's father though, since he's not present in the household. And fanboys Man. don't need special toilets. You can pee together while holding- <laughs> You can hold your hands while pissing together! Let's go! This reminds me of one of the memes you guys made for me. This reminds me of one of the kids and memes you guys made. Where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, a moment. Um, I'm about to find it. Yeah, this this reminds me of uh, this meme. This. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> So cute! <laughs> there is also another major difference between the two. Fanboys are yeah. sexy. Tomboys are hot. Let me yeah. explain. You don't need to explain. He's right. <laughs> it is right. Fanboys are sexy because they appeal to the traditional standards of female beauty. You know, dresses, tie highs. They're babes. Fanboys are dudes that look like babes. Meanwhile, tomboys yes. are hot. Because of their general physique, like yes. the abs and quads, which are not traditionally beautiful, but still pretty goddamn hot. Hot. You see what I'm trying to say? Now it's up to you what you prefer. I personally still lean more toward the tomboy side. Listen, the thought of my head getting crushed like a watermelon wins me over every time. They also have boobs. Fanboys booba! Don't... That's true. That is true. The booba. The booba. The booba are important. I'm so brain rotted. I I'm so fucking brain rotted. I literally just I'm <laughs> moving on. And I like also 
I'm not saying boobs are bad. I'm talking about myself. About what I just did. <laughs> about what I just did. <laughs> that frame, oh my god. I said boobs are important and I touched my tits, okay? Shut up. Okay, I get it, I get it. Fanboys and tomboys are pretty great. But where can I find you on? Thank you for asking. In terms of location, fanboys and tomboys can be found everywhere. Oh God, so However, if you want higher spawn rates, for tomboys, good places would be underground fights, bodybuilding competitions, rugby matches, and any gym, <laughs> except for Planet Fitness. And for fanboys, <laughs> check out ballet shows, LGBTQ parades, only uh -huh. Planet Fitness, <laughs> and Slovenia. I would know it's my homeland. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> These places should be on your priority list. However, in my research, I've stumbled upon a foolproof method with a 100% spawn rate for a 100% spawn rate? We're shiny hunting now! Always <laughs> can't be pregnant, never bad days, confident, ain't <laughs> no. Can go to the same bathroom, don't need weird diapers, anal. Don't like anal, pregnant, bad days, can cheating you with your friends. Your special bathroom, oh, need special bathroom, need weird diapers. Why do women need weird diapers? What am I missing? <laughs> what, weird diapers? What? Oh, wait, wait, the, the pants! <laughs> Countering both fanboys and tomboys. <laughs> the way to do that is by going to a generally crowded space and setting mm -hmm. up a trap. For fanboys, grab a pink well, monster, you're energy drink, now. some estrogen pills, a white skirt, and an Undertale copy with a box on top of it, like this. And for tomboys, <laughs> two dumbbells, creatine, go kart tickets, and this pre workout will do just fine. Sounds about right, yeah. Now wait patiently. It won't be long before <laughs> one of them appears. But be cautious when you capture them. Fanboys can go pretty feral when feeling endangered. Meanwhile, uh -oh. tomboys will probably just be the Beat you up. <laughs> so if you trap the fanboy, I'd say this. Whoa, hey, somebody set up this trap to catch a fanboy, huh? <laughs> what a dick. Wait, well, let me tell you. And for the tomboy set. <laughs> nice. Whoa, hey, somebody set up this trap to catch a tomboy, huh? <laughs> what a dick. Wanna beg me? And there we have it! <laughs> I have now listed every single positive and nice. negative trait of both dating fanboys and tomboys. But before I reveal the winner of today's video, I feel like huh? it's fair Wait. to get some genuinely oh. professional opinions on this matter. So I scheduled two experts in their field to do okay. a professional debate. Hey, okay. I'm Mike Bobagar. I have been studying tombology for the past 12 years. I graduated from Tombo University and I'm ready to destroy my opponent in this debate. Oh hey, my name is Dr. Sugma and I'm oh a my fanboy god. expert. I've been certified professor at Tombo Oh Tombo. my god, at the Undertale music. I saw the follow stranger. For 9 years now, I'm fanboys are my passion and I will eat my tomboy loving opponent for breakfast. All right, may the debate begin. Fanboys are better. Nah, uh. Yeah, uh. Nah, uh. Yeah, uh. Nah, uh. Okay, guys. Yeah, uh. Oh, fuck you, you. Oh, fuck you guys, bitches, hey, boy. Hey, hey, hey. Nice language. Fanboys are better than profanity, you. Profanity, guys. Stinking. I'm gonna get the other guys. I live in other world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the monetized. I'm gonna get the monetized. Stop it. This is not. All right, I think that debate went pretty <laughs> well. Now, with all the information at hand, I think it's finally time. <laughs> to reveal the objective truth and answer this forsaken question. How about you become a fanboy and they... <laughs> the, 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 yes, the, 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 that's what I said! That's what I said! That's what I said! I called it! I called it! I called it!
rewatched. <laughs> I no, I, I'm I'm just a fucking spot man. I'm 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 just fucking smart. I just know the strats, bro. I know the strats. I can cosplay as a cute fanboy and I can cosplay as a cute tomboy. So I know the strats, bro. I know. I know. I know it. Is it what Axion did today, kids? <laughs> no! Time to hit the gym. No!